Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit. I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. WTF is Ancients of Uga. Ancients of Uga is a game by Bacon Wrapped Games, which, if Reddit is anything to go by, would be the best games company in the universe. Now, these are the guys that brought you a game called Cloning Clyde, which, as I recall, was one of the early Xbox Live Arcade releases. This game is on Steam, and I believe it's also on Xbox 360 as well. And it does seem to be a console port. I think that we can certainly say for sure. And the justification for that is that when you go to How to Play, and you go through to here, here, I believe. Yes. Hold the left trigger to view your map and mouse and things like that. You know, they, it's just kind of shoehorned in the keyboard controls and stuff like that. But it, it does seem to be some kind of platformer, so I guess it doesn't really matter so much. Also, the menu doesn't really work properly, as I found. Like, it keeps forcing you back down to there for no apparent reason. It's, it's awkward. And if you try and slide it with the mouse, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. But you can do it with the keyboard. So... We'll see how this game fares. I'm hoping that it's a reasonable console port. And there are no options of any description, as far as I can tell, which is actually really silly. That's all you've got. You can't change the visuals at all. The game by default runs in a window, a 1920 by 7, 90, sorry, no, 1280 by 720, which is fine, actually, because that's my perfect recording setting. But that's kind of not great. But you can stretch the window, so I assume you can resize it. It's weird. It doesn't seem to have any full screen app option, which is just bizarre, unless I'm missing something. But hey, let's get on, and we'll see what's going on with the Ancients of Uga. <laughs> yes, quite. You are an ugly son of a bitch. Mm, possibly not. <laughs> okay. I like the art style. I'll go as far as to say that. Rainbows, wonderful kittens, yes, Uga spirit. Mmm. Well, I like the dialogue as well. <laughs> it's pretty funny. What? There you go. Yes, thank you. It's, it's good that you can accept the facts about yourself. I think it's very important in that whole self-realization thing. It's, it's healthy. It's healthy. Yeah. That's not so great, is it? Oh dear. <laughs> oh my. It would be nice if I had some voice acting for me to actually reply to, but I can't really reply to... <laughs> as much as I try. These do not seem all that happy. It's like, must make these guys sympathetic. How can we do it? I know cave paintings. The what? The persecuted? I don't even know. Okay, so we have to save the Uga things, right? I think I get the idea. We don't need any more of that. Okay, there we go. I think I am being summoned, as far as I can tell. Go possess the spirit. All right. Okay, there we go. I am in control of this dude. He's a healer, I guess. I also appear to be kicking my own guy. Oh yes, it's not WS and D. It's actually the arrow keys, and you can even go up and down, so it's pseudo two and a half D thing. And that, I believe, is attack, so... Beat this guy up. Okay, fantastic. What did he- oh, go to the healer, right, okay, no problem. Off we go, and that's jump. All right. Well, the animation quality to start with, as well as the general graphic design of this game, seems to be exceptional. It's not really surprising. I mean, they made a very high quality Xbox Live arcade game in the past. Okay. I believe it's published by a company called Ninja B, which is bizarre in and of itself. Wow, the animation quality is good. <laughs> really nice, actually, having played like, a lot of sort of kind of dodgy indie games over the past couple of weeks that have had fairly poor animation quality. This is such a breath of fresh air. Okay, there we go. No problem. No problem at all. Is that a... Oh, it is. Fantastic. So you can do that flip and things like that. And you can do a bounce. All right. God, this game is impressive. <laughs> it really, really is so far. It's like, oh, wow. 
to point out this is currently well, it's supposed to be a ten dollar game it's currently eight dollars fifty because it's fifteen percent off and you know what the europeans if you do decide to buy this game you're gonna buy buying it for a fair price i think it's six euros so it's not the dollar dollar the euro nonsense again but the game might suck i you know i'm impressed initially by the high fidelity of it and the production values of it but still hmm S to pick up an item. Oh, I missed that. Ah, damn it. Okay, try it again. S to pick up an item once it's in your hands. A to chew it. S to drop it. And E to throw it. Okay. You can eat just about anything. A melon. There we go. Are we going to eat it? Yes, we are. Delicious. You can also puke the melon. I, I can't imagine why I would want to actually do that. Ooh, rocks. Hmm, let's eat that. There we go. Delicious. So this is a game about eating everything you see. Okay, levers, yes. Okay, I've learned how to pull a lever. That makes me a very smart ooger. What else? Yes, I absolutely love buttons. Ah, delicious log, just what I always wanted. I suppose I can just sort of drop it here. There we go. Sorted. I don't know why I have the ability to puke items. Nice. Can I eat it again? Wow, really? That's fairly surprising. I am Ugo and I love bile. Yes, thank you for that wonderful information. I can only imagine. Well, that's easy enough. Ah, he also did that. Right, so this is sort of a puzzling platformer, fighty style game with puke for no apparent reason. Why, why have I got this guy? Can I eat this guy? Why? What? <laughs> Why? He might be useful later on. Let's store him in my pouches like some kind of demented tribal hamster. Up we go. What do we see? Hmm. Fighting, fighting by the looks of it. Attacking him won't work. You're a wise chief. Right, okay, so we can't just beat him up. Hmm. Right. <laughs> right, I, I have no intention of eating the poison. That seems like a terrible idea. Throw the poison into the trough. There we go. Go on, go eat it. There you go. What's up? <laughs> Love it. God, this game is already fairly enjoyable. It reminds me just a little bit of Oddworld. Just a little bit. Hmm. Sail slowly. Right. Oh, all I've succeeded in doing there is puking everything out. There we go. Smack. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Apparently it hurts your feet when you kick them like that. There we go. Fantastic. I'll have my melon back, thank you very much. No, don't destroy the melon. There we go. Scufflers, right. Do we fight these or what? Oogafoo sounds fair enough. Aha! You monstrosities, I shall puke at you. That was ineffective. So the fight key is the same button as the puke key, so it seems like you can't have stuff in your inventory at the same time. There we go. Dealt with. Oh yeah, I'm an Uga badass. Right. What you got for me? Sludge buckets restore your health. Of course. How foolish of me. Why would they not? Nom nom nom. Yes, fantastic. Oh, this this is really awesome. It just seems to be really nicely put together. A lot of very, very cool aesthetic to it. Very unique. Very cool. I'm liking the tribal thing going on. The sense of humor seems fairly reasonable. Okay. Bone fires. You guys are holding ingredients. Throw it at the fire to revive it. Right. Okay. Right, so... That's the next thing to do by the looks of it. Oh, right. I'm now inexplicably here. Lord knows why. Right, I could chew on the flaming effigy. It sounds delicious, we should definitely do just that. What is that? I just wonder if there's anything useful there. Also, 
I seem to, do I do I have to eat it first? Oh, he wants me to talk to him again, does he? Ah, okay, fair enough. Right, so you can eat the thing that is on fire. Don't worry, it'll be just fine. Mm. There we go. No problems. I believe this is oregano, it said, isn't it? Well, I believe the American ones will call it oregano or some ridiculous thing like that. Oregano. Okay, it's down there. Ah! Well, that wasn't very wise, was it? Okay, so doing that kills you for no apparent reason. Let's try that again, shall we? Da 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 da. Right. Fantastic. Next ingredient, which is all the way over here. It's weird. It's off. It pulls you into these different characters to possess them. I wonder if they have different abilities. They don't seem to at the minute, as far as I can tell. We shall eat that. Thank you. And then send it over there. And one more to go. Thus far, this game seems incredibly enjoyable and we really, really well put together. And not expensive, either. It's always nice to see a little bit of originality, as well as some really awesome art style going on. There we go! I believe we have resurrected the chief. Is that not the best thing? There we go, and that was the first level done. I'll play a little bit more of this game. It seems awesome. I bring happiness to the world of Uga. See, they've got kids and everything, rainbows and all sorts of stuff. More of a tragic, dreadful story. <laughs> God. It's like everything we do is horrible, and we live in a disgraceful land of horrible conditions, and everyone's dying and being eaten alive. Hmm. So what ended up happening? Let me guess, they all got destroyed or something along those lines. Beware of bullies bearing gifts. Also the Ides of March and some such. <laughs> what a great way to do story exposition. Cave paintings. I can't remember the last time anyone's done that. So basically they fed them drugs. They caged the chiefs and then go. Oh my. How absurd that was. So basically, they ate a bunch of drugs and then were enslaved. Don't do drugs, kids, or you'll end up like them. What's with the head banging nonsense? I have no idea. Is this one of these revolting Oganis? Hmm, which one do I want? Z or X at any time to enter spirit mode. Ah, I see, okay. I'm this meditating skeleton dude. I'm gonna have... Mm, they all look equally stupid, so I guess we're having both. Go both! Also, let's eat his friends. Delicious! You could be useful later on. You just stay in there. Okay. So we're going for the war drums, are we? So the question is, where are the war drums? I guess they're up there. On we go. You know, he's surprisingly agile for someone that's just ate seven of his friends. Uh, up we go. We should eat more of his friends. Or we could just puke out all of his friends. That works too. Apparently there is a limit. A hover bean. Does this make me hover by any chance? Mm, nom, 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 nom. Okay. Oh, you can swallow it after that. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> I see. I think in this game, you might have to be careful about what you decide to eat. I have a feeling some of them are horrible. What's this? Why am I worshipping here? What false heathen god? Hmm. An essence bone. Okay. 
What are they for, exactly? Random collectibles, for no apparent reason. Don't want to speak to this guy again? He has the best mask. He could be a fine troll. Well, I guess you can be out. I have no idea why he was actually imprisoned. He might be a mass murderer. He's joining... Well, how, how do you intend on joining me, exactly? I don't know. You can join me... In a very literal sense. There we go. Hmm, how do I let this guy out? Well, I guess we've got to run on the wheel, don't we? Problem solved. I am the best puzzle master. This isn't exactly what I'd call a challenging game. I wonder if I can puke him on there. Oh, I could eat him. I don't want to eat him. I like this guy. Actually, do I like this guy? Nah, he was a jerk. I should eat him. Oh, I could beat him up. That works too. So he can't go on there by the looks of it. <laughs> he is very upset by this. Mm, what happens if I actually eat him? Okay. Did I morph into a different guy? I don't know. I have no idea what the purpose of that was, other than cannibalism. Okay. Ah, spirit mode, right. Can I go on spirit mode when I actually... Oh, you sneaky game. Ah, I see what you're trying to do. That's awesome. That is really cool. Okay. Onward we go. This game is astonishingly good. It really is, and I wasn't expecting much from it. I probably should have. It's like, it's bacon-wrapped games. They made Cloning Clyde, which was fantastic. Why was I thinking they were suddenly going to make a bad game all of a sudden? I might also point out that this game works absolutely fine with the keyboard, and while I do object to the distinct lack of options, it does seem to run really, really well. I'm also on fire, which is suboptimal. It's okay, we can just eat that, no problem whatsoever. Oh god, oh god, oh god, ow, 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 ow. Oh, I'm breathing fire. Interesting. I don't think I can blow anything up with this. Though. Oh, this might be useful. Right. Okay. Well, first we shall eat this, and then we shall try... Alright. What are we going to do with it? Throw it, I guess? Well, that was thoroughly useless. Shall we try that one again? Eat it. Up we go. Let's get nice and close. I could swallow the boom powder. That sounds reasonable. There we go. I'm, I can't help but notice I'm not exploding. There's a distinct la- <laughs> Wow, you can actually face plant as a combat move. Whoa, okay. No, I'm on fire now. Hmm, why am I even up here? So, I ate the boom powder and I didn't explode. That's really disappointing. We should eat more of it, obviously. You'd think that that would make you explode. Doesn't seem to be doing anything of the sort, however. Oh well, never mind. Unless we have to thro throw it in a certain way. That I mucked up. There we go, it's nice and close, let's try that. No. Ah! <laughs> Evidently, it's not that. I I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, we could go spirit mode and swap to this guy if we wanted. But I'm all right with this dude for the moment. Hmm, this torch may be useful. Not really sure. For wow. Okay. Right. Those are nasty. Let's bear that one in mind, shall we? Grab that torch. We wouldn't want to lose any more Oogers. They're an endangered species. Mm, let's go on over here, then. Absolutely bugger all. Can Oogers swim? Oogers can swim. Okay. I also... Am I being a... Oh, no, that's actually a... <laughs> His face goes blue when he's swimming. Evidently, they can't hold their breath for very long. They're pretty rubbish overall. 
It's not entirely surprising that these guys end up getting enslaved. Okay. Got one of those. We are back down here. We've got one guy rolling on there. Collected another bone. We're still going to blow up this wall. So I don't know. Maybe it's a combination of the boom powder and the torch, perhaps. Something like that. We can give it a try. No doubt somebody's actually told me in the game what I'm supposed to be doing, and I've just ignored it. Okay. Ah! Okay. Let's be a little bit careful when I'm on fire. Ah, I see. Okay. That makes sense. If I swallow it while I also have that in my stomach. No, it's fine. Apparently. Right, so... I need to go grab that torch from over there, I guess. Also, not being on fire is beneficial to my task at hand. Stop. Okay. Uh, ah! <laughs> well, I guess I eliminated the wall. I'm trying my best to figure out bad things to say about this game, and I am failing to come up with any whatsoever. It seems like it does everything that it wants to do and is setting out to do perfectly. It controls like a freaking dream. The animation quality is amazing. The sound is fantastic. It's got a great sense of humor, some really awesome puzzles. Even the combat system is fairly enjoyable, if a little bit basic. I don't know how long this game is, but I'm told there's like 50, 50 levels. I was going to double check that as I just bring up the store page for a second. You'll see it pause on the screen. How many? How many? Yep, 50 amazing levels, it would seem. And there are also narcotic slugs within this game. So there you go. I think you could probably do an awful lot worse than trying Ancients of Ugger if you happen to be looking towards some kind of puzzly, platformy game with a bit of... Just a, kind of a little bit of odd world in it. Totally, it's certainly not a clone of Oddworld by any stretch. That would be dumb as hell to even suggest. But it's a really, really enjoyable puzzle platformer with a great style to it. And it's cheap. Uh -huh. It's a good deal. I mean, it's $8.50 right now on sale, 15% off as the launch week special. And it's €6 Euros or £5.50. Ancients of Ugger, ladies and gentlemen. Certainly worthy of a look from my first impressions. My name is Total Biscuit. And I will see you next time.